Can I get a drum roll, please? That is not at all what I was looking for. Play the drum track. You know what? Forget it. Forget that I even asked. This is the part where I'm supposed to tell you that this video is sponsored by Wargaming and that the first 300 of you to use the code PLAYWARSHIPS2017 via the link below get 250 doubloons, a million credits, a premium ship, a port slot, and three days of premium time. But all that I've done over the past five minutes is try to Photoshop a torpedo onto that picture of Travis Scott raging at his concert. Stop that! And in case you were wondering what I spent the money on, well, the short answer is anime. As much as I want to tell you I had to grind for this view, they already hooked me up with a press account and a gajillion credits and Dilla dollars, but what's not included are these anime ships and commanders that are like 70 bucks a piece, and there was no way I was not gonna check. So that's it then. You're just not even gonna read the script. Just pretend it doesn't exist. I mean, I improvised a little bit. You said nothing about it being free to play. Nothing about the AAA grand Graphics, nothing about the mix between action and strategy. How hard is it to read blank text on a screen? I get to that part like five minutes in and just a little bit later. And there are over 200 warships in the game. Why are you making it sound like some kind of expensive anime warship simulator when it's free to play? Uh, I don't really know if that. Say the word free to play two more times in the video and I will make us a phone call to get us an extension because you're a dipshit. World of Warships is a naval combat themed free to play game that is incredibly free to play and features anime DLC that is one. 100% optional. So I guess that answers the question. Badger, what are you gonna do with all this cash from the sponsorship? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just gonna give it back to Wargaming with features like this. You have no idea how much I would pay to name my own ship because it's on my bucket list, but somehow, some way, it's still not a feature that this game offers. Just out of curiosity, Bing, what were you gonna name your ship? Were you gonna name it the, U the, uh, the USS Bobby Schmurda? <laughs> No, oh, the USS Free Schmurda. <laughs> oh my god. Or 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 the USS Guwap. <laughs> but I'm getting too far ahead of myself now, because I bet the majority of you are brand new to the game, which definitely calls for some bo 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 basics Learning the ships is as easy as ABCD, which stands for Aircraft Carrier, Battleship, Cruiser, Destroyer. Aircraft carriers turn the game into a point-and-click adventure for the whole family, but I avoid them altogether because I'm dreadful at commanding aircraft and it always ends poorly. Hey bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet! Battleships are extra thick, and what they boast in killer firepower, they lack in maneuverability. Just imagine them as gigantic, morbidly obese artillery that can somehow miraculously float. Cruisers are like the assault rifles of warships because they're versatile and good at everything, yet they aren't great at anything. They're fast, but they're not that fast. They're powerful, but they're not that powerful. They thick, but they ain't dummy thick. And finally, the DNR list stands for destroyer, aka the only type of warship that I I run because I enjoy cheesing the enemy as much as possible with extreme speed, extreme damage, and extreme lack of a backup plan. Oh, 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 I'm, about oh, to, I'm about to yoink oh. this right out of your hands. Yes. No, god damn it. Did you see? I, I missed like eight rounds. That's garbage. Yoink. It's trash. I'm the trash man. Trash man. Not only can you choose between these four ship categories, but you can also choose among five different countries. I mean, technically there are seven with Japan, the US, Russia, Germany, the UK, Pan-Asia, and France, but Pan-Asia isn't unlocked yet, and France's navy is an embarrassment to navies the world over. And I always stick with either Russia because of their secret weapon on the back of their ships that most people don't know about. Yo, why are there like tracks on the back of this Russian ship that just lead straight into the water? Because, be have you never seen that picture? Yes, I will go. I will destroy submarine for the motherland. <laughs> it's like a T-30 driving straight into the water. That's, that's a building spec of every Russian ship. It has to have tracks off the back so that tanks can go underwater to destroy submarines. <laughs> Bro, guys, I... it's mil spec, which means it's the best you can get for the lowest amount of money possible. <laughs> That's why I always laugh at mil spec. Like, mil spec, you mean like made by the lowest bidder? Is that what you mean? Or Japan, simply because I want to get my money's worth out of the Japanese anime commander or animander that I bought. You have an anime commander? A Akino Misaki. Yeah, I bought her for like 70 bucks. <laughs> Too much waifu will ruin your laifu, all right? It's a lesson from God. <laughs> is, it, is that make... literally the Japanese equivalent of getting lost in a sauce? Yes. 
Oh my <laughs> god. And if, anytime anybody says requesting support, it turns into like something something onegaishimasu. It's like, stop. But one choice that isn't up for debate is where you dock your ship. Because one of the ports is not like the others. And it may not be apparent at first, but it's painfully obvious once you take a look. There's a port that's just called Dragon. Yeah, and it has click, a dragon. Click on click on the, the little anchor in the upper left, it's blue. I was like, one of these is not like the other. You have the yeah. Philippines, Dunkirk, the Black Sea, Sarushima, London, Zapangu, New York, Ocean, Hawaii, St. Petersburg, Naval Base, and then just fucking dragon. dragon. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but there is in fact a giant fucking dragon, dragon? right here. Yeah, I mean... Just lurking <laughs> ominously above my ship. <laughs> Once you're done picking and choosing and you actually hop into battle, you have three main weapons at your disposal. High explosive shells, armor piercing shells, and torpedoes. High explosives are neat because they can set ships on fire and knock out critical components like enemy guns, but can't penetrate like armor piercing shells, which can either do negligible damage or devastating damage, depending on what you're firing at and how you hit them. All right, I'm about to drop some serious heat on this dude. Oh, yes. Oh, oh okay. baby. There we go. <laughs> Is that the only guy they sent oh, this flag? Personally, I don't really f with these two because I'm all about my destroyers and destroyers are all about torpedoes. These stealthy underwater missiles that sneak up on the enemy like the gray seals they are and cause maximum trauma. <laughs> The general rule here is to always hit perpendicular to the surface you're trying to penetrate, otherwise your rounds will inflict little damage or bounce off like a dud. A dud! And truth be told, I thought I was extremely good with torpedoes when I first started out. No, those, those are, gonna are gonna hit! Those are gonna hit! Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Come on! Come on! Yes! Destroyed! Oh no, 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 no. I've definitely got some that are gonna hit. Rip. Rip. These are gonna hit him directly in the hall. Rip. <laughs> but then I quickly realized why I was doing so well, much to my own dismay. We were playing bots that whole time. Well, the one we're in right disabled? now is cool. I had it. I so not shit on people. For the past three hours, I've been just dunking on kids and saying, "God damn, I'm good at this game." And man, oh, everyone's they're so bots. bad. They're bots. Yeah. Yeah, they're bots. Yeah. Like, is free to play just full of just like complete shitters? Why why is this happening? Oh wait, they're bots. The most success that I had was removing all prediction and logic from my brain and just spamming them randomly in the direction of an opponent. I don't know why that works so well, but it was a far greater method than using my protractor. Think something yain. Oh, I hit him. Nice. Did you That's get him? That's another one of those, you fire it, you wait 45 seconds, you're like, he's not actually, you're actually gonna run into it, and then he does run into it. Just be careful of friendly fire, because even if you see an enemy cruiser in the juiciest position to be torpedoed to the bottom of the ocean, it doesn't do you any good to accidentally damage an allied ship and have your name changed to Team Killer Pink. God damn what? it, I'm pink! I'm pink! <laughs> Look at it! Team killer. It just straight up says, hey look, I'm a detriment to my team, and I murder my own. I'm a f huge fan of blue on blue. <laughs> yeah, so uh, being pink means that you're of an elite status. You have a certain number <laughs> yeah. of confirmed kills. I just won't throw in the part about how it's uh, friendlies. <laughs> they introduce a feature. Would you like to pay no, like, 7,000 credits to pay off the government? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're and if you're wanting the full immersion experience, they even allow you to put your own custom music in a special folder to be played in game. So for best performance, I recommend And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching. A final thank you to Wargaming for sponsoring this video. So if you'd like to play World of Warships, there's a link at the top of the description. And be sure to tune in next time when we invent the submarine.